Good morning. I am up and on trail. It is day 14. Coming up to my first river crossing. It's going to be a chilly one. Um, I actually hit the 200 mile mark yesterday, so that's good. And I'm just about seven miles from Doc Campbell's. I should get there before noon, no problem, which they don't even open till noon, so no big deal. Um, I did a little math. I'm averaging about 14 and a half miles a day, which I'm not going to make it <laughs> if I keep this up. So I got to get my ass in gear and start putting some, some bigger miles up, but I got to get these feet in order. So I'm going to see what's going on once we get to Doc Campbell's today. Um, there's no camping actually at Doc Campbell's, but there's a campground right across the street that has hot springs right on the river. So a zero day for $12 camping sounds like a really good idea and a good opportunity. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to take a day off, rest these up because I still have like at least 50 more miles of river crossings after this and a super uh, like seven day food carry after I leave Doc Campbell's. So I got to have make sure my feet are right. And, uh, you know, after that, hopefully I can start pushing some bigger miles, but looking forward to another beautiful day on the Gila river here. Should be a nice short one to Doc Campbell's and then we're going to relax the rest of the day. Seeing tons of uh, tracks on the trail this morning, bobcats and mountain lions and some other little maybe ferret or something, but cool to see. And they're not that far from my campsite, but the trail has been really nice. Like this morning, the last couple miles yesterday, the first 10 miles yesterday was like all riverbed that looks like it gets washed out like every year. So the trail is just kind of scattered throughout and you're just kind of making your way. So this has been really nice, easy to follow well marked. I like it. That was my last crossing for the day. I did 15 more this morning. That brings my total to 53 crossings. 
uh, but I'm getting ready to join the road that leads into Doc Campbell's about a mile and a half away from there. And it's just about 10 o'clock, so I will be there in plenty of time to chill for the rest of the day, pick up my resupply box, figure out if I need anything else for this next section, because it's a long one. And then, uh, yeah, hang out, hopefully be able to soak in the hot springs a little bit and maybe jump in the rivers too. So just relax and uh, yeah, beautiful morning, awesome hike, nice and easy, chill by the river, birds chirping. A good day. I needed I needed this after uh, yesterday, so gonna go enjoy the rest of my day. Okay, I think all the people here just confirmed. I'll probably take a zero tomorrow. Everybody is super friendly, like. I'll just, we'll pay, we'll pay later, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll start a tab for you, just pay when you're done. It's like, who does that? Uh, but I just had a pizza at Doc Campbell's, delicious. It's like the only thing they make, but it was perfect. That place is very well stocked. And they actually have like a lounge upstairs that you can actually go chill out at. So we're probably gonna go back over there in a little bit and hang out for a couple hours and do some laundry. But just made it back, I got my box, got some ice cream. And uh, yeah, just gonna chill, relax, and enjoy my time here. 